What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video finally here on CellMed. It has been a while since I posted my last video, but there has been a lot that's been going on for the last almost eight, nine months from finishing my research project at Ohio State University to finishing up my shadowing experience at Ohio State. If you haven't checked out my experiences at Ohio State that I spent in my gap semester between graduating and medical school, I'll post this video either in this side or that side. I forgot where it shows up, but over up here. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Salman Ahmed. I'm a first year medical student and I wanted to make today's video of five things that I wish I knew going into medical school. Number one, the first thing that I wish I knew going into medical school is I wish people had told me how you will always be behind on the material. So the main thing is, is that the med school curriculum is built in such a way that you will always feel behind, that you will never always feel caught up. That if you have seven hours of lecture a day, there's no way that you can go back home and then learn seven hours worth of material from you know 5 p.m. to let's say 11 or 12 p.m. going to bed at a reasonable time, assuming you don't take any breaks to eat or relax a little bit after you come back from class. So the point is that you will always be behind and don't be so hard on yourself when you do fall behind because you always have the weekends to kind of catch up on that stuff that you're behind on. Number two is I wish someone had told me how hard medical school was really going to be. And it's something that you know going into medical school that you know it's going to be hard. People tell you it's going to be hard, but it's something that you really don't know how hard it is until you actually start and actually, until you actually go through medical school itself. It's something that you know, I think the first three weeks of medical school were definitely the toughest weeks of my life. In a sense that because you're not used to the curriculum, you're not used to the pace, you're not used to different trying different study methods, which I'm going to talk about in the next sub point. It's something that's really tough. And it's something you don't realize how tough it is until you actually go through it. And again, people talk about how hard it is leading up to it, but you personally, as a person, have to experience it to really understand how hard it is. Because I guarantee you, it's something that you really haven't experienced something of that level of difficulty. And again, it's not that the material is hard, but rather it's the pace at which the material comes at you. And I'm sure everyone has heard the term that it's like drinking from a fire hose. It's very true that it feels like you're drinking from a fire hose because the material is coming at you so fast and so hard. So medical school is hard, keep that in mind, but don't let that deter you away. It's something that you will adjust to after the first three weeks or after the first month. Don't be afraid of it, but rather embrace it. And um, it's something that you should expect going into medical school. The third point that I want to talk about is how much you're capable of learning. And I was very shocked and rather surprised by how much you're actually able to learn in such a short amount of time. After an exam or after a quiz, you know, our friends and I would go back to our places and kind of relax for a bit. And we just, you know, talk about how much, you know, we were able to learn in such a short amount of time. And it's something that's really, you know, amazing of how much the human brain is actually able to learn and how much we as humans are capable of learning. It's something that's truly amazing. And it's something that you'll kind of learn to appreciate once you get to medical school. So the fourth sub point that I want to talk about was find out what works best for you. As a student, do you study better individually? Do you study better in groups? Do you study better using flashcards? Do you study better using outside resources? Or do you just focus on the resources that you get in class? So whatever that case may be, you need to learn what works best for you and each person will be different. Don't compare yourself to what your friends are doing. Don't compare yourself to what your peers are doing and your other classmates. Focus on what is going to work best for you. And that's definitely the hardest part of medical school is figuring out that part, is figuring out what strategy is going to allow you to learn all this information in the fastest way possible. Each person has a different method. For me, studying in groups was key. And I found this to be the most helpful when I was studying um, in groups because you talk out the information. So one person would focus on one slide, the next person would focus on the next, and you keep your groups no more than four, but optimally at three people, at three person groups. And you would take turns explaining each slide. And if you have a question when you're going through the slide, stop your friend who's explaining that, explaining that material and have them expand on it. Not only are they learning about the material and by expanding on it more, but you're also learning what is being talked about in the sense that they're explaining the material more in depth to you. So when the exam time comes, you remember those specific moments that you had with your friends that they were explaining something 
to you and you're you know learning it you're absorbing the information and that specific moment actually comes back to you during exams or at least that's what happens with me so i found that to be the most helpful but you also need that individual study time where you go and you focus sit down in your room by yourself you close your door put your headphones in you know block out any distractions and you memorize information you really understand and absorb the information individually but i usually use that group study time to understand all the material and then later i go individually and memorize everything that i have to understand and learn and finally the last and final point that i want to talk about was enjoy the process of medical school i know that medical school is a marathon medicine in general is a marathon and you'll keep telling yourself oh i just need to get to this part and i'll be happy or i just need to get to this aspect of it and i'll be fine and that was honestly with me with anatomy the first 12 weeks of medical school for our school is anatomy it's 12 weeks of anatomy embryology histology and those first 12 weeks were really tough and people said you know just get through anatomy just get through anatomy you'll be fine and then we got through anatomy and then we started our core classes which was biochemistry physiology and microbiology and again that in itself was a whole another challenge so every step that you take and you get to that next step in medical school comes with a new challenge and you really just have to embrace these challenges and understand to enjoy the process enjoy the process of medical school and the entire aspect of the journey of medicine because each step is going to have its own challenge and you're going to have to find a way to embrace each challenge as you go and take your steps through medical school now with that that wraps up my video for today and for this week and for this semester i guess you could say um for the future of this channel my goal is to post you know as always has been to post once a week and it's been tough because you know with medical school and adjusting and everything it's been real tough but with this upcoming semester now that I'm a bit more adjusted to medical school and the pace of it I'm hoping to post once a week but again it does get tough with research and volunteering and leadership positions etc cetera, etc cetera, and you know maintaining everything so um, my goal is to post once a week but at least I will try my best to post once every two weeks um so with that I hope you guys hit that subscribe button leave a comments in the comments below if you guys want to see any videos describing medical school or what you guys want to see about learning in medical school or if you guys want to you know see any specific videos um or want me to expand on a specific topic more I'll leave a comment in the comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video